Time out is KLC Thought the Spirit Coach getting you in shape and form for the age of Aquarius yet again. And we're going live again. We're doing it again because I can't forget this one point. So, you know what I'm saying? I would rather come on here and redo it and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? So, look, check this out. I want to make this cool and clear. Earlier, I had a lot of things going on. I was busy. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to sell stuff. You know what I'm saying? I had motherfuckers hitting me and I wasn't really focused on the fucking video. So this time we're going to get it right because I forgot one of the main points as trying to come through and convey this fucking video. But we're going to get it right this time. So I hope everyone is uh, pretty good. You know what I'm saying, Coach? You're going to get your ass in shape and form for the age of Aquarius, right? And so, you know what I'm saying? If you like this video, I want you to like and share this video. You know what I'm saying? You can subscribe to my YouTube. You can go to my motherfucking website, seatoworld.com. Learn about becoming a membership. Learn about joining our astrology team. You know what I'm saying? Our, our, our group support team. You know what I'm saying? And Seatho World members, we're going to get you good and things of that nature. We're going to build in a real way, in a real esoteric way, based on the transits and astrology and things of that nature. Okay, but now since I'm in, in, in tune and things of that nature, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the new office, you feel me? This is where things will be going down. Of course, you know what I'm saying? We're going we gonna, to we gonna get it right, get it right the right way. Okay, but when we start talking about spirituality, okay, spirituality is individuality. Okay, spirituality is, is you being able to conduct your spirit based on, you know what I'm saying, your, your, your natural selection and your ability to, you know, have your certain space. And then based on you being your space, you having your space, that's your one of a kind. You know what I'm saying? So zero looks like one in the esoteric realm. So zero turns into your individuality. You know what I'm saying? You become aware. You get a point of reference for the first time and things of that nature. And now, you know what I'm saying? You do that amongst others spirits and things of that nature, but you tried and failed that so many times that you don't want to lose your individuality, you know what I'm saying? You want to conduct and you want to become more aware and things of that nature, and so this is, allows you to gain awareness and things, you know what I'm saying, so you can sufficiently travel as a motherfucking spirit on this journey, okay? So, when we talk about when we talk about the five things that don't make you spiritual and things of that nature, so these would be things that I noticed, that I've seen you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure some of y'all seen, a lot of y'all that's really into spirituality, y'all know how to decipher from the two. Y'all know somebody that's picking a phone, and y'all know somebody that came and went and experienced, and then they gonna upload a video talking about how, you know, Jesus saved them from the new age or the new age thing. You know what I'm saying? They got a video like that, you know what I'm saying, coming up. You know what I'm saying? So some that saved them from, you know, them just being flunked out and not knowing what they're doing because they didn't got into it for the wrong reasons and they was looking for a certain outcome. So I'm trying to save and prevent you from that. Goddamn flying here. This no flying get this out of here. Oh, the motherfucker gonna come right. You see that? You see motherfucker laying right on my shoulder. Nosey ass fly. See, anytime you gotta fly around, this is somebody that's nosy. This is somebody that just wanna know, you know what I'm saying, know too much and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna kill this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn fly and shit like that. You too much, you into too much shit. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what to know for the right reason and shit like that, man. That weak ass fly there. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, uh, get your ass on. But yeah, so yeah, we uh, motherfucking uh, got some, got some uh, energies that's, you know what I'm saying? They just, they just know some. But yeah, getting back on track and things like that. And she, you got to be careful because motherfucking, these spirits is all around and shit like that. Y'all don't think because motherfucker got a different body and shit like that. They don't got no certain awareness. And that person, that thing ain't happy to that moment, that you for that moment for a reason and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? That's based on your awareness, though. You can't be a weak spirit and trying to be placing meanings and reasons on that because it might turn into you uh, hopping into... Uh, you know, like dogmatism, or you know, you might hop into some uh, what they call it, uh, what the, what the, what the, superstition, and shit like that. And based on if your level of awareness is like, um, if your level of awareness is like a, a motherfucking kid, and things of that nature, and you only got a level of awareness of of, um, of um, you know, what I'm saying movies and 
And, uh, you know what I'm saying, the shit that you're showing on TV, you ain't getting no experiences of yourself. You know what I'm saying? You might hop into some spirituality and shit like that, and then might, you might not be prepared for it and shit because you may think, you know, it'd be for, like, monetary gain or trying to get from point A to point B real quick, but that might not be the case, and that might not be the instance. So, you know what I'm saying? Before you get your ass into some shit, you know what I'm saying? You got to learn your shit, okay? All right, all right. What up, Bree? How you doing? Shout out to my fellow Aquarius in the house. Yeah, but we're going to get into these five things that don't make you spiritual, okay? Because these five things don't make you spiritual, okay? So the first one is coming up with intellectual thoughts or communicating something that makes you seem smart, okay? So when it comes to, like, the Bible, you know what I'm saying, the Quran and shit like that, that's what they don't, first of all, we see that every day. You know what I'm saying? We see that every day. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers, that ain't no good shit. Communicate something out their mouth and they might come and talk you slick and stuff like that and shit like that. And these motherfuckers be the worst people at the end of the day. So coming up with, a, with an intellect, intellectual thought, you know what I'm saying, or sounding cool and shit and sounding good and shit like that, that don't make you spiritual. I'm sure we call them that. Well, that's number one. That don't make you spiritual just because, you know what I'm saying, so it's about, it's about knowledge, but it's also about knowing the ledge. You know what I'm saying? So if you got knowledge, you know what I'm saying, you can, you can, anybody can communicate some shit. You know what I'm saying? Anybody can teach you how to read, but teach you how to interpret and apply and get out there and make shit happen. That's a different type of level of intellectual you're talking about and shit like that. And spirit don't all the time fuck with just intellect itself. You know what I'm saying? Spirit wants you to be intuitive. Fuck fly right here. I'm sorry, y'all. It's a fly that fucking bothered me. But yeah, this weak ass fly. You know what I'm saying? Get that motherfucker fly out of here. But yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? Intellectual, you know, um, it don't always deal with, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, intellect and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? You might not, you might uh, need to use your intuition a little bit more. You might need to use your feeling a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? You might not even need to use a specific thought or what you learn or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And that's when you know that you stuck in this first one, you know what I'm saying? You coming up with intellectual thought, trying to clean the thoughts and how you think about something to, you know, to survive and shit like that. And spirituality is a little bit different, baby. You gotta be in and be out, you know what I'm saying? You gotta know when to participate, you gotta know when not to participate because at the end of the day, when you go home and shit like that, you don't give a fuck about nothing and be the wildest thoughts in your mind and shit like that. So that lets you know spirit don't really got no container. Now we come into these forms to, 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 come, to come together and relate and shit like that and make shit happen and make shit work. But at the end of the day, everybody want to be accepted for themselves. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you know that this is what we all doing. We ain't alone and shit like this. We speaking a little good language. We coming in and, and bringing people together on a, on, a, on a new plateau, on a higher level and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. So, you know, coming up with an intellectual thought or communicating something that makes you smart. Don't make it spiritual. So if you communicate the Bible, that's out the way. If you communicate something like that, you ain't got no knowledge. People can't really connect to it or feel uh, about the, some way about that shit like that. And I ain't even talking about like some just gonna come save you and shit like that. You gotta actually, you gotta do, you do gotta be logical. And sometimes you can't just think something gonna come save you and just you, nothing happening and shit like that. You see in repetition, that's called insanity. You know what I'm saying? So for the most part, you gotta understand what spirituality is. Spirituality is just your uh, ability to be an individual and then when you be your individual and shit like that you use your son you know what i'm saying you use your solar plexus you use your imagination you know what i'm saying you can be looked at as an example for other spirits on how to be an individual as well and motherfucking mother you can get followers like this motherfucker too but a lot of people don't think like that you know what i'm saying we still stuck on you know regular mode and things of that nature you know what i'm saying regular mode but for the most part you know what i'm saying we got to snap out of that okay so that's number one can't use not you can't just use words and things and think you're a spiritualist now. No, everybody's spiritual at the end of the day, motherfucker. It's just people don't really understand concepts and things outside of, you know, what they've been fed to and shit like that. So, you know, we learn it and shit like that. But it's each one teach one. We all coming together this way who we here to do and shit like that. And I'm see though the spirit coach getting your ass a check for the age of course. Yet again, okay. Number two, number two, okay? Okay. Thinking uh, uh, being happy and peaceful. Okay, number two. That's number two. All right, see you, Bree. Um, um, number two, being happy and peaceful. You know what I'm saying? Number two, you know what I'm saying? You can't, that's not what spirituality is, but we got a lot of people in the community. 
um, in a motherfucking um, in a conscious community or just you know just become conscious aware so you know what I'm saying you might get a lo- lot of love and like pages you know what I'm saying you might get a whole bunch of people but spirituality they don't like no polar shit so you know what I'm saying you too happy and peaceful and things of that nature now I'm not saying you can't be you know cheery and do you as you know, as you should, you should be cheery and be able to do you and things of that nature. But that don't make you spiritual. Being happy, being loving, and lightness, and being, and, and, and that ain't it. You know what I'm saying? I know what they taught y'all in Buddhisms and, um, you know, colonialisms and shit, but you know what I'm saying? Happiness in that way is like through the material, which is going to lead to one of our aspects as well. But for the most part, we're, for right now, we're talking about, you know what I'm saying, being happy and peaceful. You know what I'm saying? Spirituality don't give a fuck about that. Spirituality will make you kill that mental form. It'll make you kill and think you got to be happy to receive some type of wisdom or knowledge or expansion for your spirit. Your spirit like to experience. So your happy form may not be necessary in this, you having to go through this experience. You might have to curse something out or you might have to get upset. You know what I'm saying? You might have to, you know, and that's what it is and shit like that. So that ain't it. That's not it either. That ain't it either, baby. Okay? So you can't just think you're just being happy and peaceful and you know what I'm saying? That ain't that ain't spirituality. Okay? Now, number three, assuming a character. Okay, number three is assuming a character. So, you know what I'm saying? Whether you create a hotel, you create a religious person again, you know what I'm saying? You sister Shirley, you know what I'm saying? Or you, you know, you uh this person and this person, you know what I'm saying? Who told y'all that I had to step into a motherfucker? You know what I'm saying? To experience something that they, in the Bible, it said it's inside you. So who told you, you know what I'm saying? Now, if you want to practice somebody else's way of going about, you know, their religion because you need a handbook to study and things of that nature, that's okay. That's fine. But know that's what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? You're not actually being spiritual. Okay? So it's a difference. All right? And then number, um, number, um, uh, yeah, so... So, yeah, so number four, assuming a character or creating this. And a lot of people in the conscious community, they be Hotep L Bay 21st and 5th and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Or you be having Yoga Mama 31 too and shit like that, you know. Or, you know what I'm saying? That don't make you spiritual. That don't make you spiritual, you know what I'm saying? Assuming a name or a title or, you know what I'm saying, a position or a religion or something like that. You know what I'm saying? You got to actually, you know, spirituality is about individuality. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing, you know what I'm saying? We all spirits and spaces. In our space, in our relative space, nobody can copy your space. At the end of the day, your space, you, you are aware. You got the ability to be aware and things of that nature. You never lose your awareness. Even when you dream, you have your own space and awareness and shit like that. Now, de- depending on what you develop, what you may have attached to as you, but you change all the time. Your circumstances change all the time. Your situations change all the time. So that lets you know when you die, you're going to change. But what's going to always remain? Your goddamn spirit, okay? So get, so keep that in mind, okay? And then now we're going to keep moving on and shit like that. And I'm glad I got to do this one over and shit because I was a little everywhere a little bit. Uh, a little bit early. Look at this weak-ass fly, man. What's your weak-ass out of here? Um, but yeah, shout-out to the flies, man. He trying to he trying to learn and shit. He trying to come, come turn into a human. Nosy, nosy and things. You got a long way to go. You got know what I'm saying? First, you got to stop shitting yourself. You gotta stop playing the shit first, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, can't, be, can't be shitting, you just playing the shit. You know what I'm saying? You gotta take shit serious and things of that nature, you know what I'm saying? But I guess y'all don't see shit like that, so it's like, you know what I'm saying? As a fly, you wouldn't see shit, shit, you know what I'm saying? You like shit like that. Like, and shit is just represent, it representative of everything that manifested in the one, two, and third dimension. That comes after the fact. That comes after the, 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 the initial God power that God gave you, a.k.a. imagination, faith, and belief. When you do that in God's way, you already there. It ain't until you got to motherfucking reel this shit down in reality and give it attention and, you know what I'm saying, time and energy and patience and practicalizing this shit until it becomes shit. And then at that point, it's like limited. So this shit like weak. But at the same time, for the most part, we still utilizing this vessel to experience this. And so it's there are certain things that we need to learn as well here. Okay? So, yeah. So that leads us to the fifth point. You know what I'm saying? Having the material or the shit the shadow government provided as security. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? All the way down to mental form. All the way down to how to think into situations and shit like that. But we ain't even going to get that deep. But for the most part, this one is for... I'm gonna let grow, grow move past, but this one is for like for people that got like 
month and like hella material or they think they life is going so much better than everybody else because you know what I'm saying they got the material they got the goods you know what I'm saying they, they think they shine and shine and yeah because they got this that's in their bank account and shit like that and whatever so this one money money doesn't make you spiritual and either way not being broke or not being rich that's the fourth one Money does not make you being spiritual. You're being broke in a sense, you know what I'm saying? Not having a material, not that you got to go out and meditate on the motherfucking couch and buy my YE that's leather and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get receive good information in the desert and things because, you know what I'm saying, because somebody even convinced you to, you know what I'm saying, eat raw, organic, you know what I'm saying, eat nut, you know what I'm saying, nuts and, um, you know what I'm saying? Anything that don't got plant and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? That's like broke. So anytime you're broken, you know what I'm saying? That's when you're, you're you know what I'm saying? Anytime you broke or you resonate with the spirit of broke, we now, we all broken in a sense because like I said, we created these bodies, these vessels to represent our spirit and this shit ain't shit. So for the most part, you know what I'm saying? We're trying to use something broke to explain something grand that we're doing in a larger scale, AKA our spirit. So this is even when it gets to names and titles and you calling yourself a nickname, you can use a nickname to defy yourself, you know, I mean, not defy yourself, let me not, to represent your spirit, you know what I'm saying? And now, if things can represent your spirit, but just know whatever nickname you choose, one, you're gonna end up acting like, a, it looking like that's you, and that, you know what I'm saying, God gonna approve of that in some way, shape, or form based on your experience, so be careful what you ask for. And two, if you pick a nickname that don't resonate with you and shit like that, and try to be spiritual and fake hotel and shit like that, you ain't gonna do nothing but end up getting look like a damn fool. So, you know what I'm saying? That's number four. You know what I'm saying? Being rich don't make you spiritual. You know what I'm saying? Just because you got this instead, you think you think your God is better than everybody God and not be You know what I'm saying? And it's just real spirits like me. I don't really give a fuck about that. You know what I'm saying? For the most part, real spirit gonna make a way in any type. And that's what spirituality is, basically. You being individuality. So if your individual self ain't broke, your individual self ain't dampened, your individual self ain't um, you know what I'm saying? Nobody can call your spirit nothing. Your spirit nothing. Your spirit create what it want to create. What's wealth to you is what's wealth to you and shit like that. And so that's the thing. Motherfuckers are trying to get tied into too many concepts and situations and shit like that. T. Lou, what's good? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so for the most part, you know, having um, the material, you know, the shadow government plan, you know what I'm saying? For, as far as security, safety, you know what I'm saying? If you got a home and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? This is where religious people damn their spirit. They'll be, you know what I'm saying? They'll think they're not living life right because of the material possessions that they aren't manifesting and shit like that. No, but they're using somebody else's spiritual system to represent their individuality. Your spirit might not even give a fuck about that. Your spirit might want to be represented in some ways, shape, or form. And you can have your own morality and way to look at it and way to go about it. And shit like that. But you know what I'm saying? You would never know if you never jump into that arena to understand what is represents you. You know what I'm saying? As your individuality and shit like that. And so, yeah, spirit is always about individuality. And then number five. See, I was supposed to do this on the other one. But yeah, number five is um, being in a religion. It don't make you spiritual. You know what I'm saying? And I, that ties it all in. Back to the first one, you know what I'm saying? Being in any type of religion, real legion, you know what I'm saying? Where you, you know, uh, where you um, assume in a position, a character, a role, you know what I'm saying? To, to uh, And then you think you're holier than thou just because you know a few words on the book and shit like that. But you ain't never experienced. You ain't never did no magic. You know what I'm saying? No buildings ever appeared for you. You know what I'm saying? No, your, your family isn't good. You know what I'm saying? Only people family is good is the people that's sanctioned to preach the scriptures that how they want you to preach it to interpret it and you ain't even even understand the Bible, Bible origins and how it was created in the text and how it don't even read and this Latin language that we're using to express what we're thinking and feeling right now so yeah you all way off and shit like that so yeah being a religion doesn't make you spiritual and shit like that. And so, you know, spirituality is your own individuality, your own practice, your own way to go about that and things of that nature. And then once you get with others and y'all agree upon that, y'all spirits and bodies doing that amongst each other in some way, shape or form. Other than that, everything else is cap. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, I appreciate everyone that joined this live and the first live. You know what I'm saying? I have to remember that last point. I was getting, you know, you know what I'm saying? I was getting too, too much and shit like that. I had to bust some moves, make some 
you know what I'm saying, some chat real quick. And yeah, we gonna uh, get y'all ass in the game. Thank you for uh, pitching. So yeah, shout out, to, shout, shout out to Cito World. Go to CitoWorld.com, you know what I'm saying? Check out some music, check out the, uh, the, the membership page, check out the booking page, get you a reading. You know what I'm saying, it's cancer season. I will be doing cancer season readings for everybody, you know what I'm saying, that book, that want a consultation. We're gonna let you know what your sun sign hitting for, what you need to pay attention to, and join the support group, join the support text and motherfucking telegram by becoming a member 15 you know what i'm saying we all building all all men and women and shit like that you know what i'm saying all of our thoughts and feelings coming together create something structural create something fair create something for each individual that that that, that puts in and shit like that and it's only 15 dollars and shit and i'm really just using that shit to pay for the site because you know what i'm saying i ain't really even profiting for that shit you know what i'm saying so it's really just to keep the site up and keep things interesting for y'all and i'm out get your ass in there.